you were talking That's about. It. Wrap up. My bad. When we were talking about the sparring, uh, Jabril sparring, Javante Davis. Yeah. Jabril's also sparred, arguably, pound for pound fighter, top three fighters in his division, Shakur Stevenson. Yeah. So we sparred Tank, he sparred uh, Shakur. Yeah. Both twice. Yeah. Like, what did you see in both sessions? Like, what's the difference between those two? And how did Brill do in each one? Differently. Shakur, Shakur is the better chess master. The better thinker. Um, Tank is the better animal. Tank more, Tank more like naturally like, his reaction time is, is countering his, his, his ability, agility, speed, and power all mixed together. He more of an animal. Mm. I mean, Shakur more, of, you know, I'm going to show you this, but then show you that. And then you thought you saw that, but then no, it was this. And then, you know what I mean? He's he the trickery guy. He like the three car Molly guy. Like, which hand is in there? You know what I mean? <laughs> he crafty. You know what I'm saying? That's what I saw. How does coaching against him vary? With Tank is more tempo type of coaching. You gonna have to, you gonna have to really get it in. Like you gotta be on your shit. I mean, with, with Shakur, you can talk your way through it, like relax and talk through it. It's like, like I said, with Shakur, it's like really sitting down playing chess. With with Tank, it's like playing. Remember, we used to play. Uh, what we used to call it? Suicide? Not suicide. What's the other game? Uh, Killer Man. Yeah. Ball in the oh, hand. shit. <laughs> Killer Man. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like playing Killer Man. I mean, you play football. Killer Man, the game, you mean, you throw the ball in the head. Whoever grab it, we on their ass. So it's like it's like that type of thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's fast pace, no holes bar. I mean, we getting it in. What I, like, what I like about both of the guys, they don't really complain. I mean, a lot of times when you see the guys get on different levels, they complain about a lot of different shit. You know what I mean? Getting hit low and shit like that. They keep it working, they keep it pushing. I like that. Who's more difficult to prepare for? I don't know. Cause it depend see, it depends on what kind of fighter you got and then what kind of what kind of night you're trying to have. You know what I'm saying? Because Shakur, what I mean by Shakur being tricky, you could go in there and be like, I'm out working, but then you might not have a hitting. You know what I'm saying? Or you could go in there and be like, you know, I'ma just do this. But then he see. He see the game plan in your eyes, and then he take that away from you by touching you to the body. Now, like one thing about he get hit to the body, you get hit in the body, you feel like you have to get that right back. Like that don't feel good. Motherfucker hit you in your stomach. You know what I'm saying? Shakur, I seen Shakur irritate guys, poking him in the stomach, and they want to get him back so bad, but they can't get him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So Shakur could be difficult to prepare for because you just don't know what you're going to get. Tank, you got to be, it's difficult to prepare for because if you do too much, he can knock you out, really. I'm saying what he did with Roley. Roley was overdoing it. Roley was shooting that right hand. And he had he had Tank at some point being cautious. But when he shot the over when he shot the right hand a little too much the first time, Tank took the notes. And was like, oh, that's the one. Then he did it again though, right back. He did it again within a matter of seconds and Tank timed it and knocked him out. That's what made Tank dangerous. I mean he could just knock you out. So it's like either one of them you got trouble in your hand. Thank <laughs> you.